What's up, people? Back with another video. Sean XC here. Go ahead, hit that like, subscribe button, turn on your notifications. Uh, we're starting a new series with uh, Max Payne on PS2 Air. Sit back, enjoy. I'll let you later. Why does it seem so much different than Xbox? I don't know. Oh, Hold on. Jump, shoot. Let's go pick this. I can't move those buttons. All right. Cut over. Stand by 1010. Investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher. Verify address. That's Acer Plaza. Repeat. Acer Plaza. Oh yes, an assault in progress. Let's get it. Max Payne is causing some fucking real pain for these fuckers. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. Ta da! I beat the game already. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Okay. The American Dream. Let's get it. Now the controls are kind of wacky. Still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. We're still on for poker Thursday night. Right. Like taking candy from a baby. Let's get, Life oh. was good. The sun was good. setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children oh, playing. Wow. The house across the river on the Jersey beautiful, side. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. On the Jersey side. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. I mean, come in like nightmare. You feel The that? sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Oh, no. Three years ago. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row center. Yeah, let's go. What the hell? Okay. 
What? What happened? What was that? Like someone broke into this place. Something man. ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Okay. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Your mama. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to... Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Oh my god, what happened? Who did it? Okay. Anything around here? Let's get it. Go up the stairs. Michelle! No. Um, we're gonna go push right past that, bro. That's that's a little sad. I apologize. If this brings any uh bad memories to people. The flesh of fallen angels. I hit him with a baseball bat. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Now that's the backdrop, people. This is why Max is such bad company. Now we gotta go back. The American dream busted up. No! I hope they make a remaster and kind of make modern. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in the New York Minute. Modern the killer uh, junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Let's go. Are they gonna find out that Max is an undercover? I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. That sounds bad. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. 
My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Let's go. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station. And Roscoe Alex. Street, let's go. No. Watch how bad my fingers are. The station are. was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Yeah, I slowed it down, so it's not so much. Uh-oh. That's not good, people. What happened? Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Okay. Ah, come on. Grab me some bread on ammo. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. Oh, look, it's V. Okay. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much. What the hell? Get down, punk. Trying to be more friendly, family friendly. Give me those guns. Thank you, people. I appreciate you. Yeah. Hold it. Come on out. American dream. Let's go. All right. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. No way. Come on. Fine. Okay. Yo. For Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Yeah. Okay. Nothing there. Someone's trying to take me out, and I don't like it. Kiss it goodbye. No. Ah! You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. One floor up. Let's go. One floor up. That's where you need to be at, brother. Home free. This way. Hey, yeah. Ouch. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ow. 
I really think they should have made made the uh, the guy uh, like when they made the movie. I think they should have. It should have been uh, what's his name? Um, like they should have made the movie in the nineties, and you could have had the actor be uh, Bruce Willis. In a really good movie. Who's here? Okay, let's go here, right? The train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Okay. So I gotta go back out the way I came. Okay. That made no sense. Let's go. Gung ho. Take some pills. Reload my gun. Now this is a PS2 era game. The rusty throw led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early forties. I always Something cut me off. Going down to Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. You know, this is a PS2 game, and it, you can tell by the graphics uh, and the controls itself. And anytime you play a game. Did you hear something? Nah, take it easy. What's shooting at me? Hey, yeah. Uh. Where'd you go? Come back here. Look, I'm clipping through them. 
I'm clipping through it. So far, the shotgun has been my friend. Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino. Yeah, spooky. Ah! It shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. <clears throat> missing a detonator, huh? What are they down here digging for, anyway? Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. <laughs> I hit the wrong button again. How you doing, fellas? Let's go find out what will happen. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. score lay on the table. What did they find out? The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Okay. Bank robbers had left their tools on the table. 
Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. All right, we're going back up Bolt B. Right where we came from. No. Is there any more? Come on. Oh, there we go. Come down the hallway. Look, rat, I ain't trying to fuck with you, bro. Leave me alone. Boom. We're in chapter two already. Found the detonator. Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Oh! Alex! 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 No! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Whack the sucker! Alright, this gun's getting on my nerves. Don't get out of here that quick. Time to drink. They ain't got my kind. Okay, just open the door. I guess we're going this way. It kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Oh my god, we're stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings yep. from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. 
The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. Oh my. So I gotta shoot police off, I believe? I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. If you make that up yourselves, you'd get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. <laughs> Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My car had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Pain in the butt. Painted a map. Junk spot pink. Got a ticket of Marble City for you. Eat first and lying down. We get it. No, 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 no. A letter on the desk caught my eye. A letter on the desk caught your eye. Bosses. Everything all right? Bosses. Joey. Vigilio. You all right in there? Okay. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overwhelmed yep. energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. Mm. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't yep. screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, oh. lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza. A spook story told to keep the apes in line. Uh huh. Three thirteen. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Bosses. We're coming in. Let's use this desert eagle. I'm just being creepy. All right, people. That's it for this video. I appreciate you like, subscribe, hang out with me, turn on notifications for my latest video, and I much appreciate it. I'll holler at you later.